Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is gonna be another Zara haul. If you're new here, thank you so much for watching. I do like beauty and fashion videos, mainly fashion on my channel. So if you're interested in all that kind of stuff, make sure you click subscribe down below. Um, but if you're not new here, thank you so much for coming back. I know it's another one, my last video was a Zara haul and I do do a lot of these because Zara is one of my favorite shops. You know, I've got a problem well aware I'm the one doing it, you know. I just love Zara and I feel like at the moment the only bit of excitement I'm getting is ordering parcels. I'm sure a lot of people can relate. Parcel of days keeping the sadness away. Yeah, I will get on with the video. Um, I'm gonna do try on clips. Um, and if the background you notice is different to my normal videos, my parents are currently home working in our actual house. This is like an outbuilding that no one is living in at the moment. Um, so I didn't really wanna film in there obviously because I didn't wanna like make loads of noise while they're trying to homework. So that's why I'm out here. So if the sound's not any good, apologies. This isn't my normal setup. Um, but yeah, we're just going to make do for today. So first off, I'm going to start off with the item that I'm wearing. Um, I'm not sure if you can see it very well because obviously I'm wearing it now. But it's just basically like this knot skirt. And I will put it in the try and clip so you can kind of see it a bit better. Um, I saw this on Instagram. Quite a lot of girls like um, Charlotte Emily Sanders. Um, who else? Just loads of bloggers like that. I've just been wearing it. And I thought it was a bit different because I'm not normally one for wearing skirts like this like it's a bit more of a mature skirt but i thought it was cute i really like the detail on it um i got it in a size medium i'm not sure if i should have got a small i'm not completely sure if i'm going to keep this or not yet um i'm just getting my ideas of what how much i'm going to get wear out of it because obviously it's not the most wearable and it's not like an everyday piece so i'm not sure whether i'm going to keep it or not um but i do really like it because obviously um it's cute it's, i feel like it's quite flattering with the knot detail um, my idea of wearing this is like with a bodysuit like I've got on now and just with the skirt and maybe just a pair of trainers. Um, my dual ones would look nice, I'm imagining. Or I'm thinking, as most girls have worn it, with lace-up heels. I don't know how well it's going to go with trainers, but I thought I'd give it a go um, because obviously heels you don't wear every day. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it, but I will... I don't know, you'll probably see my Instagram if I do decide to. Next up, and this is a piece that I've already worn quite a lot and it is the most amazing crop top thing um it's like from the contour collection um it's got amazing stretch to it like you can see and whenever i put this on my stories or instagram people are always like oh where's it where's it from where's it from um i got this in an extra small to small but i feel like this could fit so many people because obviously the stretch in it is amazing just the color of it as well like it's such a gorgeous sandy color like it's not like a pinky nude like i feel like it's a true nude which i love and obviously this is so wearable and it's not see for at all. I feel like obviously if you get cold, you are gonna show to people, if you know what I mean. But other than that, um, it's not see for at all. You'd be good to go if you just wanna put some nipple covers on. If you don't wanna, fine, you do you, up to you, that's preference. Um, or just with like a new track with bra, you're good to go. Um, if you're not doing it on Zara anymore, I'm sure people on Depop will be selling it. So have a look on there, but it is a gorgeous top and I would recommend so much. I believe it was $7.99 and I definitely think it's worth it because the fabric is a lot better than normal. Next up, I've got another crop top and this is a gorgeous like um, grey. I feel like it's like a greyy nude colour and it's got these lovely little cut details on it. And I just imagined this with so many different things like, oh, I just really want to go on holiday. Like imagine wearing this in like grease or somewhere just like chuck it on with a, like a skirt like this like that would look fab i can imagine this with jeans with trousers um also with like a cardigan over the top that's why i'm imagining wearing this because i really like the knitted detail and i also love tops like this because it's knitted and thick so i can wear it without having to wear a bra underneath because i'm not blessed with the biggest boobs in the world so i get away i'm not wearing a bra comfortably so it's nice to have tops where and just wear it and wear it out and not have to worry about people like oh my god their nipples are showing so i can just wear it out and not have to worry about anything showing but this is gorgeous i got it in a size medium don't think they had a small so i got a medium but it does fit me fine uh, i'm normally small to medium so i feel like i can get away with either um my cup size is around a 34 32c so for reference obviously in the try on clip if that will help anyone but yeah imagine this with like a pair of white trousers like that would look divine or just pair like blue jeans anything like that it's a really gorgeous top probably my favorite thing from the whole it is a two-in-one shirt and bralette in this blue striped detail um i had a shirt like this before and i insert a picture here of when i wore it um i wear it all the time and one day i was going through my clothes and i have such a bad habit of throwing my clothes away i know some people like hoard clothes i'm the one that's like always trying to sell clothes i don't think i'm gonna wear for money 
I don't know why I feel like I really like making money, so I'm like trying to get rid of something. If I haven't worn it in a while, I'm like sell, sell, sell. So I sold it, and then as soon as after, I was like, why did I do that? Because I actually really like it. So I got this gorgeous, it would also pair as a shirt dress, as you can see in the clip, it's quite long. Um, shorter at the front, longer at the back, um, striped blue shirt. And what sold me is it comes with this really cute little matching striped bralette. How cute is that? Imagine just chucking this on a holiday, like obviously you could wear that as a little bikini top, denim shorts, um, I have this shirt as a cover up just a pair of sliders and you're good to go. That is so cute. And I imagine this would look really nice with trousers, jeans, anything like it's such a gorgeous little piece. Only thing I would say, I got these both in a size small and the shirt is huge on me, like it's so long. And then this is quite small. So if you've got bigger boobs, it's not gonna work. So as I said, my boobs aren't, I've got a bra on now, so they look bigger, but they're not big and my boobs are really just about fitting this. Um, so I definitely say um, size up. If you've got bigger boobs, definitely. I'm not sure how it's going to fit on someone with who's blessed in that department, but I would definitely recommend. Um, I didn't get this um, directly from Zara because, oh, how long has that been on there? I'm really sorry if anyone saw that. There was a bit of hair on it. It's actually vile. But yeah, if anyone wants to get a hold of this, I'm not sure if Zara have restocked it, um, but I got this from a shop on Depop that sells like Zara stuff, and I'll put that at here. I think it's Style Bay or something like that. So yeah, I know they're sh shelling, selling quite a lot of them. So I'll put that out here if you want to check them out. Next up, um, another piece I got from Zara is a black one shoulder. It's a linen blend as well, which I was, I was really expecting like a stretchy fabric and I probably would have preferred if it did have that. But it's a one shoulder, like long sleeve top and it's got a really lovely cut. So it's like a dead cut. So it's not like an off the shoulder, it's a one shoulder. So it probably cuts off back here. You'll see on the trunk if anyway, I don't know why I'm even... And then the back is open like that, as you can see that little cut out detail there. And then the neck piece kind of goes around. So it's quite a high neck. So if you're not a fan of a high neck, so I understand that can be uncomfortable. I wouldn't recommend, but I would just imagine this would be a really nice piece. Like imagine with my hair up like it is now, just kind of like a structured look, if you know what I mean? Because the neck's quite high. Um, this would look really nice, just like a jeans and a nice top kind of vibe. Um, just not like a typical bodysuit or like crop top, just nice for a night out, a bit more of a put together look. So. You still look nice, but you're not like, it's not, it's more conservative. That's what I'm trying to say. Another piece I got, which I'm not a fan of at all, were these satin cycling, cycling shorts, Bermuda kind of long shorts. And my vibe for this was with the top that I'll, I'll show you in a minute. Basically they go together, but the fit of this just not cute. It's size small. I normally a size small and I've got a size small and it doesn't fit me right. So it's not cute. The fit isn't flattering at all. They're a bit of a, bit of more like on the tight side and it just yeah you'll just see in the trunk it's just not cute yeah i wouldn't really recommend these they're really nice and obviously i feel like it would fit a more of a slim body type not saying that yeah i'm just a bit more stocky so it doesn't really fit me well so i'd say size up if you want to get them i don't know whether it's got because uh, i've got quite muscly legs i just don't really suit me um maybe if i got a medium it would look a bit better but they definitely the fit the cut doesn't really suit me that well and i was going to wear them with this satin vest top and I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this because it's quite expensive what it is this was 12 99 just for a plain vest and I just don't know if I want to pay that for just a plain satin vest and it's not even it's not even double lined so I don't really think I'm going to keep this I got it in size small um it does look really cute it's just a satin vest you can't really go wrong black satin but I feel like I could de definitely get this cheaper than £13 because it probably cost them about 20 p to make. Last piece I got, and I'm not sure if I'm a fan of this, I am think I'm gonna have to like rewatch the try and clip just to know if I'm gonna like it or not. Um, it's just this off-white, oh that's strange, um, off-white creamy coloured blazer. And when I saw these on people's YouTube hauls before buying it, I was like, that looks so nice, but I don't know if I'll show you a bit more up close and if you can hear that. The fabric wasn't as I expected. I was expecting more of like a polyester blend. You know, it's got kind of like a sheen and it's soft, but when you touch this, it's rough. It's more of a linen blend. And I'm not sure what the exact fabric combustion composition is. Combustion. I'm looking for English or Spanish so I can understand it. Viscose. Viscose and polyester. So yeah, it obviously is a, it's a nice colour and it's, it would definitely be a lot more breathable because of the fabric. Um, but it's not really my cup of tea on a blazer kind of fabric. It's more flexible and I prefer a more structured blazer. Still got the shoulder pads and everything. Um, also, I got it in the size medium because I sized up. And 
I feel like it's not as big as I want it to be. Um, these buttons and the buttons here obviously are gorgeous. I love it when they match the colour of the blazer because it, I feel like it looks more expensive automatically. Um, but yeah, I would just style this. If it was a bit bigger, I'm not sure. I think it comes up too small to be a dress, but that's what I was wanting. I was wanting like a blazer that I could wear on top of things and also as a dress. So yeah, I'd style this as a dress, like with a pair of heels or like a pair of sandals, trainers, like chunky trainers, or just chuck it on your shoulders, just like that kind of vibe. So I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this. Um, we'll see. If you see it on my Instagram, then I have. But yeah, if not, then I decided not to. Oh, I forgot to mention it was $89.99 as well. So that's quite steep for a blazer. And I literally saw the other day they put it on sale for $59.99. So a bit rude. So I don't think I'm going to keep it. If, if I do decide to keep it, I'll probably send it back and then reorder it so I get it cheaper. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. If you did enjoy, please make sure to subscribe down below and give me a thumbs up. That'd be greatly appreciated. Leave me a comment down below if you're going to buy anything. So I always love um, knowing what I inspire you guys to buy. Um, if you want to check out my Instagram, how I um, style these pieces, I'll put my um, page here so you can just give it a click. And sorry, I'm having a look out the window. Don't know who that was then. I just remember that I had the electrician around. It scared me a little bit. Put my um, Instagram here, the at and everything. So because I post daily on there, so more fashion inspiration for you guys. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next one.